Alright, here's what's going up in this kitchen. We got some jasmine rice. And over in this pot right here, we got some yummy. Super yummy. Here we go. It's a pot roast that's been cooking for about two days. Okay. And we have some pepperoncinis, jar of pepperoncinis in here with the with the juice. We have some uh, about a handful, two handfuls of cut up carrots, uh, half an onion because that's all I had at the time, and some garlic powder, some salt, pepper, and some about two two handfuls of celery, some nutmeg, some cumin, some. Uh, little um, this stuff up in here, ground uh, cinnamon, and some parsley flakes, and this thing is cooked down with the beef, the pot roast in here. Just use chuck roast, and uh, it's incredible. Okay, up in here, up in here. Okay, just die. It's getting tired, you gotta beat about boom ba be bang, you know what I'm saying? And here's the finished product right here. Up in here. Uh, over the rice. And I'm gonna chow on that, you best believe it, all day long. But first, we gotta spice it up a bit. Yep. Yep, sir, right. Some beautiful Thai peppers here. I'm gonna hold this with my neck. I'm gonna open this up. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's even getting this, but oh, oh, there we go. You best believe these are hot. What I'm saying, authentic Thai peppers in the fish oil. You know it ain't a secret no more. It ain't no secret no more. You should put a little of that fish oil on. Huh? Okay, put some of these in here, and I recommend putting them right on the side, just like that, because you don't want to mix them in there. Sometimes those Thai peppers get hot as heck. You know, I want to say that bad word, but I'm not going to say it up in here. So anyway, that's what I'm talking about tonight for dinner. We out.